Alright, what is up everybody? It's your man Evil coming at it again with another Black Ops 4 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be using the SOG 9mm. As well, we got the you know grip double stock class set up. We playing some bare bones in today's video. And if you guys can notice, damn, don't it look like somebody just dropped a nuke, the atomizer strike, or Moab or something on us? Well, unfortunately, there's no nuke in BO4. It we're playing the one, the only, Arsenal Sandstorm. This has to be probably the most innovative, the best playing, most amazing looking map that I've ever seen in Call of Duty history. Sorry if you couldn't tell by the um, you know, sarcasm I had in my voice right there, but as you see me die by a thermal person, that leads me to what I want to talk about next. You see, Black Ops 4 tries to be innovative. And I'm fine with it, you know. I really appreciate the fact that the game wants to try to do some stuff to make the game better and make the community, you know, complain less. Because, you know, as a Call of Duty community, you know, we do complain about a lot. There is not a lot that can make us happy, but there's a literally everything that can make us upset. That's just how it is when you're part of the Call of Duty community. But today, I feel like I just had to talk about how, how they handle maps in Black Ops 4. Now, like I said, I try my best. And, you know, I've played every map this game has to offer, and god damn, bro, I wish that they could stop making maps that all they do is change the weather. Or if they're gonna do it, I'm fine with having dynamic weather maps. We can do this. But let's constantly stop putting them in the game as new maps. Because, yeah, they might say, they, oh, yeah, we got a new free map for you guys. I mean, of course it's new and free. It's a map that's already in the game with, like, a slight weather change. And I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of the maps don't even really be that different. Seaside, Sunset, and Seaside. Basically the same map. It really doesn't affect how it's played. Her now, Contraband Hurricane and, Con and the regular Contraband, slightly different. But this map, oh my god. Before I get on this one, let's talk about Fire and Range. Fire and Range and Fire and Range Night. I mean, okay, that's... No, fi the regular Fire and Range plays a lot better than Nighttime because people can camp because it's so dark. But let's talk about this map right here, Arsenal Sandstorm. Now see, you know, if you're a person who plays Black Ops 4, you'll know that like a lot of times when you hop on, the map variety is already limited as is. And this game has a decent amount of maps, but you see, you usually see the same maps over and over again. Hell, I barely see Nuketown when I play this game, which is funny because that's one of the stable maps that I love coming up against. You know, this game needs some good maps. And honestly, I'm shocked that this game didn't try to take maps from Black Ops 2 and try to remake them yet. Because honestly, I would have rather had some remakes from Black Ops 2 than Fire Range Summit and Slums. Slums is the only remake, of course, from Black Ops 2, but still, you know, it's just, it's been, uh, I'm kind of tired of playing Slums. I love the map, love the layout, it always leads to fast-paced action, but I, I'm kind of tired of playing these maps. To me, it's kind of a shame that the best maps in the game are remakes. Like, damn. And, and it just it leads me to wonder like man if they would just all they have to do is be smart with how they do these maps don't put them in the game as, uh, and code them as new maps because I get tired of you know you already have like five seconds to choose a map once you come out of a lobby anyway and you know you'll get something like oh yeah fire range fire range night seaside seaside sunset you know what I'm saying like and then don't get me started on arsenal arsenal is a trash map as it is already and then you give us a map where you can barely see people I mean look at this look at this Map is so bad, I just outplayed that dude. Of course, I ran out of ammo right here. I could have made a play, but, you, you know, that damn ammo. If only the Sog had extended max, your boy would have definitely just made a huge play right there. But still, you know, this game is funny when I think about it because the innovation they add in the game is good. Is I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot more than you would get from most, I said most, <laughs> from most video games nowadays. But it's like, still, you know, you got to innovate and try to be more creative. Don't keep just giving us maps that are already in the game, but changing the weather on it and trying to make it seem like that is a new thing, you know? Like, we gotta chill out with that sometimes. Also, I really wish that there were some new guns in this game. I get it. They add two new weapons with every, you know what I'm saying, uh, what the hell they call it? Every new event or whatever. You know, we were, we were on, I think we, we were we on a Grand Heist event right now. Like, yeah, I'm tired of this. Like, honestly... Can we stop just putting, you know, ev weapons behind events, or can we at least have more than two weapons? Because your boy already maxed out the Rampage and the Switchblade. Switchblade is okay. It's, it's, it's not ass, but it's okay. Rampage is God tier. But still, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I want more, more content, bro. I want more weapons. Because at this point in the game, I'm just using the same overpowered stuff. You know, all I use nowadays when I hop on... 
I use the ICR, you know, the Maddox. Basically, I can use every AR. I'm, I'm just straight up telling you this right now. Like, you can literally use every AR in the game. But from what I see, the only other thing that you can do at this point is use like two SMGs. So every AR in the game, two SMGs, maybe what all the LMGs? Like, come on, man. You can use pistols too, but still. As my cat is in the background scratching the wall too. But yeah, you know, it's like. Yeah, I'm just, I just, I want something new. I want some fresh content, bro, because this game is starting to become stale for me, bro. My Modern Warfare 4 hype is at an all-time high right now. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really need to do something. Like, honestly, we need to, we need to come up with some new content, come up with something fresh in the game, you know, something that we can all try to have so we can actually have some, you know, more fun with this game. This game is at a dead point for us right now. The game isn't dead itself. I mean, you can still find lobbies. Even though with this game, sometimes it, it takes a while for something to actually load up half the time, which is weird because like you would think this game will fill itself up, but yeah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just need these things to try to make Black Ops 4 a more fun experience because at the current moment, it's becoming dry, you know what I'm saying? I play maybe five games, hop off, try to have a good time. And yeah. One more thing, guys. You see, I love you guys on YouTube. You guys have been here with me through a lot, but I think I'm going to make the transition to Twitch. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch a little bit more, especially since new games is coming out. So I'm going to actually plug my um Twitch. You should see it on your screen any moment now. But yeah, pretty much all I want to do is, uh yeah, you know, try to sub to me on Twitch or, you know, uh, follow me or whatever. Here's the Twitch right here. You know what I'm saying? I just is I've had a fun time with streaming on YouTube. YouTube is cool, don't get me wrong, but I think it's time I just go ahead and stream on Twitch. I I, I understand it's gonna take some grind time and I get all of that. That's cool and fine and dandy with me, but I don't know, man. It's just like eh, I haven't been seeing too many results on YouTube. Plus, I ain't gonna lie to you, Twitch allows you to have a little bit more freedom when you stream, and I ain't gotta worry about constantly getting copyright claims and all that other stuff if I do stream. And um, yeah, so I'm actually leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. If you enjoyed the gameplay, please be, ah, let's start this over. Take two. <laughs> but now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new. And you know, all that being said, guys, my name's Evil Adre. Smacking lobbies is my hobby, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace out. Chucky got the sauce, bitch.